Nemco. Uh, do you know, it's really interesting, so I'm not going to get really technical about it. Hopefully it won't get extended. And one of the things is that I voted Remain and um, a lot of my um, counterparts and peers who voted Remain are all very much about leaving right now because we've seen the way that the EU has treated us. I'm from a, I'm from a, a non-recognised country called Somaliland and we have a lot of pride in the fact that we're not rec- like the fact that we're independent and the fact that how people who believe in this country and the fact that we believe in the British system and the fact that the Britain can be better outside of the EU have been relegated to some kind of racist or right wing um, re- um, 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 rhetoric has been quite surprising to me. So I can be proud of my country, I can be proud of the place that I was born, I can be proud of being African, but ultimately to have the same pride as a British person has been seen as a far right kind of um, um, view. I think I'm I'm happy, weirdly enough, I'm happy with the no deal Brexit and I think the whole thing is that come March the 29th, I think we should just leave and that's... And I, yeah, yeah. And I say and this that is from someone who voted Remain. Somebody who voted Remain and somebody who <laughs> cried for two and a half and side. somebody who cried for two and a half months about the fact that we voted really? um, leave. I was really, really upset because I assumed um, as a Remainer that a lot of the people that were voting leave were all racist and hated people like me and were very little Britain, all these things. I remember um, I'm from that um, ilk that we all lived in North London and I remember driving to Glastonbury. A lot of us drove to Glastonbury. So there was the leave side and the Remain side and we all agreed that we were going to meet in Glastonbury and see whatever happened. What could possibly go wrong? Exactly. So we were like, so we were all going to be, um, we we're all going to come together in Glastonbury and just accept a vote as it um, 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 as it was. And I remember leaving London and thinking, who's actually going to vote leave? Who 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 are these people who are voting leave? And I remember driving into Gloucester and seeing these massive leave signs and say, who are these people? And I I hadn't crossed over until the um, actual results happened. And the last two two and a half years, I've spent actually meeting a lot of young people who vote, who vote to leave and who believe in this country who just like my country people in Somaliland actually believe in their own um, country so I, I'm actually happy with um, a no deal Brexit but I don't know if you saw what Owen Smith was saying when you say about it's to be Labour described MP. as yeah, yeah when it's been described as a, a racist um, xenophobic project and I think that's just so insult it is so yeah. insulting it's rude yeah yeah, well, I was going to say, I was very interested in your comments, Nimco. And by the way, I was just answering Paul's question about whether Article 50 mm. leave. I do also take the view we should just leave with no deal. We'll be trading over WTO rules. As I say, as an economist, it's a leap into the familiar because we already do nearly 50% of our trade within WTO rules. So we do 100% of our trade under WTO rules. I think it's a terrible mistake that it's been taken effectively taken off the table. But this is politics, I'm afraid, Michelle. This is the nastiness and the grubbiness of politics. 